a black nationalist is an American black person and could be a black person in some other part of the African diaspora, but distinctly away from the continent of Africa itself. A black nationalist is a person of African descent, not on the continent of Africa, who believes that black people in his or her country of residence and probably birth constitute a nation of people within a greater or larger nation of people who are not themselves black. So those of us in America who are black or of African descent and who perceive our people collectively to constitute a nation within a nation are in fact black nationalists. And the first few letters of the word nationalist are nation. So you're people who believe that we are a nation of people. But beyond simply believing that we are a nation of people, a black nationalist should logically believe that we should therefore conduct ourselves and our affairs to the maximum extent possible as a nation would if in fact we had our own geographic boundaries that constituted a nation. So a nationalist is a black person who believes that we blacks in America should organize ourselves in such a way as to be able to maximize the benefits to be derived by black people from our presence here in America. So my uh, focus of nationalism is as it was taught by and advocated by the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Not all nationalists agree on the issues of separation. Uh, there are those nationalists who believe that we should have a physical number of states, five in the southeastern part of the United States or 13 in the central part of the United States or whatever else. There are still other nationalists who, sh who believe that we should relocate from America altogether uh, to perhaps some Caribbean or Central American or even South American country that we can presumably take over. I don't know what they expect the people who are already there to do how we take over their place, but uh, they do believe that we should uh, extricate ourselves from America and create a nation physically someplace so it would not simply be a symbolic nation or a conceptual nation within the context of somebody else's country but that actually we should go someplace uh, and create a uh, physical geographic uh, nation of our own. Those are the separatists uh, amongst the nationalists. Uh, the rest of us, or I should focus on my own branch, which are the Garveyites, um, essentially believe that the uh, nationhood concept must first and foremost be a conscious thing that we should consciously perceive ourselves as a nation within a nation, that it's impractical to expect that any large numbers of black people, certainly not all of them or even the majority of them in any particular location in this country or the world, are going to uproot themselves from the only geographic territory they really know and go anyplace else, especially when we're not grounded in uh, racial solidarity. So what would be the attraction of someone who is African-centered or African-descended, I should say, in some part of the world other than Africa to want to go to Africa when where that person probably lives or where that person lives, there's probably not racial solidarity. So you're not going to go running to a whole nother continent with people who you don't know at all and know nothing about other than what someone has told you, and talk about doing a nationhood thing with them. So that's not realistic. But as Marcus Garvey talked about in his Back to Africa movement, he was not advocating any sort of massive migration of black people from America or the Western Hemisphere back to Africa. He wanted us to make a conscious, conscious 
return to Africa. That is to say, to return to and reclaim our identity as an African people and begin to relate to Africa in much the same way as we are familiar with Jewish people throughout the world relating to the state of Israel. The state of Israel is the point of solidarity and the tie that binds uh, the Jews throughout the world, no matter where they are and no matter what other differences they may have with each other, they'll all agree for the most part on the need for the state of Israel to exist as a symbolic homeland for Jews all around the world because it is not otherwise a homeland for Jews, but it is in fact a symbolic uh, homeland and they consolidate themselves around the support and the uh, encouraging of the growth and development and the sustenance of that country and everything that it represents. So a black nationalist believes that we, as black people in America, should have the same sort of focus. We, uh, my branch, shall we say, of Garveyite nationalism is not seeking to have black people leave America to go someplace else to form a nation or for that matter to grab off some states in the United States. I would approach that more like the Jewish people approach their ethnocentrism. Jewish people are nationalists, but they don't call themselves that. They never use that term in reference to themselves or their movement. Uh, The proper, or shall we say the safer term, that Jewish people themselves accept for themselves is ethnocentrism. They are ethnocentrists. They do believe that as an ethnic group, they have a duty and a responsibility as well as a right, you know, to advance and protect their own interests to the exclusion of anyone else's interests. And I admire that about Jews, quite frankly. Uh, On the other hand, they have a vestige of Jews who are Zionists. And these are people who believe that uh, Jews should all be heading for Israel and that those who don't physically return to Israel should at least send their money to support the state of Israel. So they have worked out internally whatever conflicts they had over methodology of how to best preserve and protect and advance the interests of Jewish people. So they talk about the same thing in the context of what we nationalists are talking about, but they refer to it as ethnocentrism. We refer to it as black nationalism.